Icons Idols Irini by the Byzantine Choral Project, Episode 1. Byzantium, the end of the 8th century. An okay time in Byzantium. We might call it the midpoint, the point where gravity starts to pull an empire down. Constantine V has been ruling for over 25 years, but I can't see Irini anywhere yet in the histories. Not even a whisper of her name. I look on my lady and love comes out her eyes. An icon. There she lives close in the paint and gold. Summer, 768, Common Era. A general's country villa outside Athens. I imagine a teenage Irini sitting with her friend Megaris, waiting. So who are you competing against? Are they all famous? <sighs> They're not famous? So any woman can send a painting and sail there for the show? No, not everyone is called. It's up to the emperor. Whoever he thinks is beautiful gets to go. Oh, then I bet they've already chosen someone. Someone with a name. Or important brothers. Ugh. <sighs> no, you're right. Everyone who is beautiful has a chance because they need someone who looks like an empress. You'll get to go, Irini. Without a doubt. You're so gorgeous. And will you come with me? I don't know. I mean, what would it be like? You hear about all the books of rules. We haven't been taught how to live at court. Who needs to be taught? Oh, that's him. With my uncle. And it makes my stomach hurt. I mean, how many men are going to end up looking at you once they've got this picture of Megaris. you? Megaris. I'm sorry, but me, personally, that's what I don't like. Being looked at without a veil. I don't care. I'm being painted. A call's gone out. Mix your blood with power. Constantine wants paintings of pretty girls. There's going to be a bride show. Her uncle wants her chosen as an imperial bride. Oh, is she pretty enough for scornful eunuch eyes? The painter's looking in my eyes longer than anyone has ever looked at me. He puts me by the window to see my true complexion in the light. When they put a doll in my hand, he laughs and says, Ha! Huh. Child bride, better for the man. And everybody smiles, but I see his eyes are sad. 
I look straight at him so he can see that the bones in my face are perfect. I'm ready to be plucked. He's come to paint her. The orphan child. He's come to paint me. Irene of Athens. Though no one knows who I am. He's come to paint her, make her shine like gold. He's come to paint me, make them choose me, make them want me from afar. This painter is a haunted secret in the dark. Women painted for money in the day turn into saints at night. Irene's his purple Madonna. My lips red, he paints my eyes blue. The picture becomes me taking my eyes to court. Eyes painted open, etched in coal. Watching the eunuchs judging, 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 judging me. So paint me, it's gorgeous to be seen. Paint me, give me eyes that travel far. Paint me, paint me. in Constantinople, paintings are tacked across the empty walls of the young Caesar Leo's room. It's been a day's work for his eunuch Stravakios to sort through the best of them. You don't like any of them? They look like dolls. But they're beautiful. Every single painting is like a... Venus. That's what you imagine I want? Blonde hair and blue eyes? How can I think about paintings? My father can barely walk. That's what's on my mind. What's happening to him? If you don't want a bride show, you have to tell your father now. I know. And it could be good to be seen saying no to him. Everyone's looking for someone strong to take charge of the situation. What are you saying? People shouldn't think like that. What if he falls over in public? That's not why I don't want a bride show. I just don't like these women. They've all let themselves be painted. Lots of people working in institutions can identify with Stravakios. He looks like he's made it. He secured a position. He's Leo's chief advisor. People value him as an ex-soldier, as an administrator, as a bureaucrat. But turn a corner in this palace and suddenly he can meet someone who treats him like he's nothing. He needs Leo, even if Leo has no real idea who Stravakios is how wildly and happily his eunuch parties in the city at night, how much he likes these painted women, and how much he admires them taking a chance. How sick do you think he really is? Maybe if we wait a few weeks, his legs will recover. I heard they took a pin to your father's leg yesterday and pricked him from toe to thigh. He felt nothing. You know I trust your advice, Devrakios. You never tell me anything but the truth. But if people are starting to say things like that, I've got to do what he wants, haven't I? I like your 
your saintliness, for now it makes you cute. There's something that gets me about the body, body trained for trained war, war. Topped by lips, talking peace and day. I'll keep this memory, thanks, it's nice. You pouting all Holy Spirit, Spirit saying no, no to a bride because seriously, seriously you can't see, can't see in her heart. Can't see in her heart. But I got out. to close my eyes, Do say goodbye to the eternal me. boy and his Do lovely me. fears about Do other sins. It's not cute. When your father dies, there won't be time for grief. When your father dies, there won't be time for love. When your father dies, there won't be time for grief. When your father dies, there won't be time for love. When your father dies, honestly, both of us will need to use your sword to survive. Which paintings would you pick? So you don't want a doll? Okay, that one. Her name is... Sira of, of the, the Argyros. Her brothers control the army. And that one... Her name is... Uh... Uh... Irini Sarantapekos. I'm not sure I'd choose her, but she's beautiful. <laughs> Look at what she's holding. A doll. They call me to the bride show, I can't wait to go. They call me to the bride show, calling out your wanted somewhere like now. these carefully. We can't take them. We can't. Someone will find them in our bags. Can you not just say your prayers without them? They're how my mother taught me to say my prayers. Oh. Don't you believe me? It's true. I screamed in church because I thought I saw one of the wooden ladies move its eyes. So my mother taught me how to kiss it like a doll. Then, when she died... It was my icon, for me alone, to say my prayers to her. But then your lot came. Not my lot. People from your family. No, not my close family. We all had icons as well. Did they make you smash them? We burnt them, outside, so the mob could see. Well, well anyway, so I couldn't keep it. Another thing to kiss goodbye. A cold kiss with a cold pain hidden behind my face. A cold kiss with a cold pain, a cold kiss goodbye. A cold pain for a small heart. I see them throw the icon on the floor. Savage her for wood. Nothing left to kiss. A cold kiss with a cold pain. A cold kiss goodbye. They give me a tiny painted lady. Carve small for a girl's They say promise us. Promise us. You never tell. You never show. You keep her hidden. Close to you. Hurting her. Cold time. Dangerous times. Cold time. Dangerous times. Full of lies. Keep us safe. Kiss her in the dark I keep her 
with a cold pain hidden behind my face. A cold kiss with a cold pain, a cold kiss to goodbye. A cold kiss with a cold pain, a cold kiss goodbye. Are you lying to me to make me take it? Irini, I can't tell if you're lying to me. If I'm chosen, I want you there to help me teach my baby their prayers. Would you make me their nurse? Of course. Who else would I trust with my kid? But would you give me the official title and everything? Yes. I would be the nurse. I just said that. <laughs> what about later? When you go from just being a princess to being empress, I'd still be nurse? Because that's a big thing. How many different ways do I need to say it? If I'm chosen, you'll look after my kid, and we'll make sure he gets to say his prayers our way. So pack my icon. We're going to need it. Back in Constantinople, in the Emperor's private chambers, the lighting is being kept very dim. Come in. Come in, I want to talk to you. No. Send that eunuch away. I will wait for you outside. Father, what is that on your face? Lead paint. You don't want to see what's underneath. His private face, hidden as it decays. My doctor wants me to spend some time resting away from the palace. You should. That's interesting. All my sons are telling me to go. I haven't spoken with my half-brothers. I don't know what they're saying. But I wonder if it would be better for people to not see you like this with paint on your face, to let them remember your face before. We do not see our Lord in heaven, and yet we obey his rule. Hiding won't cure me. Listen, I started as a weak emperor, very weak, until I learned to strip the images from our churches and stop the plague coming. But no emperor ever becomes strong. People still use images against me to signal their rebellion. So I've never done enough, and I'm... <sighs> My limbs seem already dead. I am meant to feel this punishment for being weak. You haven't been weak. I regret this piece, letting the iconophiles crawl back in. You have been very clear. If they are seen with an icon, even once, they know they are done. The devil deceives with devices of the female heart. Dragging us down Dragging with her little shrines and icons, icons. Dragging us back down to hell oh, idea, oh, And in the night, oh, idea, God touches my face oh, Hot oh, fingers idea, degrading oh, me idea, with disappointment Constantine My face, look at my nose. Look at his face, look at his nose. Look at his face, look at his nose. Somewhere the archives face, look at his nose. Be diligent, be deliberate, be aware. The devil deceived leaves us corrupted and broken. Some place, somewhere the icons grow again. Place somewhere a woman curses me with gold. When I finally crush them, my face will be restored. Elevated, I'll be fit to be seen. What happened? I wish he'd let you stay in the room. What was that about? You always come to our meetings. I've never heard him rant like that. I got close to his face. 
He has no skin on this side of his nose. Then there can't be a bride show. He's already decided that Sira of the Argiros will win. Sira? No. She has too many brothers. You've already got that problem. He sees her brothers as useful. He wants to be able to ride out with their cavalry troops. He's convinced all the icon shops are open again. Uh, I hope not. We've had a lot of wasted years on that. My worry, and please listen to me, isn't icon worshippers. It's how do we- I'm not disagreeing with you, but this is what he believes is making him ill. And what do his doctors say? I'm suspicious of this bride show. It seems strange to be organizing one when the bride is already chosen. He wants to be seen. It's the start of some kind of campaign. Ugh. No, I'm serious. Instead of going to the springs, he's looking for a war to bring back his health. taking with her the most dangerous thing to own in Byzantium at the end of the 8th century. She takes an icon right into Constantine's palace, a little icon carved small for a girl's pocket. Idols Irini was written by Helen Banner and composed by Grace Oberhofer, with sound design by Grace Oberhofer and Nathan Lee, music direction by Robert Frost, and audio engineering by Nathan Lee. It's performed by Hilary Asari, Iris Bumier, Isabella Dawes, Hannah Aiken, Julia Izumi, Grace Oberhofer, Lucas Papenfusklein, Shanta Parasharaman, Yael Shavit, Kay Weber, and features Foley artist Nicole Orbona. All parts of the work are subject to copyright. Icons Idols Irini was produced by Emily Caffery and was developed in part by Opera America, The New Georges, The Alliance of Resident Theaters New York, The Tank, The New York State Council on the Arts, and The New Ohio IRT Archive Residency.